All right, today we're going to be going over the strategy of Berlin P2 uh, during the whole season of Vanguard. And I really want to showcase this specific hill just because it was such a big hill for teams, especially early on in the game. You know, with a team spawning good sign on Berlin, you know, this gold side, they would usually really have a nice setup on P1 and get a lot of time off of that. So I really want to show how teams, you know, could try and battle back in that P2 because it was so important for, to get those points back or even if you wanted to build your lead if you if you did have a good P1. So let's talk first about the rotation to P2. So for the rotation for P2, uh, it was really important uh, for a lot of teams first to just get inside the hill. A lot of times uh, in this hill specifically, if you had more players in the hill to stack and trade, it was more beneficial. Uh, but I just want to talk about the general, you know, let's say we're holding P1 scrap time uh, from this side, uh, you know, the P2, P4 side, other teams spawning back gold here. You know, you really want to, with like 15, you know, 20 seconds left, have someone, you know, num like number four right here going top P3, cutting this whole lane off so that anyone who's trying to get out early, get out um, and, and get out to maybe like dice here or this tank or even inside hill, you, you have to pass by that number four first so he's going to be trying to cut you off you can even have number two like cutting off from these windows here doing the same type of thing but really blocking or you know defending this spawn here so this was the big spawn for p2 this train spawn and i'll show you like why it was so important for for teams i'll clear this out um but let's say you know end of p1 you want to be protecting you know this spawn just because of how close uh, the teams would spawn two P2 from the spawn. So let's say you have a spawn here. There was a spawn back uh, bricks here and basically a spawn gold uh, for anyone spawning, you know, on the bad side, I would say. So teams would really on P1 scrap time try and hit through P1 to try and, you know, block this side or at least engage from this side heavy just because if, you know, a team was able to defend this spawn pretty well and have people in the hill, you just be straight up funneled through this street and that would allow them to make a lot of plays whether it's you know cutting you off from here seeing through you know th from p5 or even hitting out you know into this courtyard area hitting through underneath fire trying to disrupt anyone's you know setting up or who had just spawned in gold uh, so those were like some really big you know holes from that side you could even have someone you know in the tank well have having like one or two people in the hill and you'd cut them off from that way. So it, it was all, you know, getting the info, seeing where they were coming from and then, and then funneling them, especially in this, you know, triangle of, uh, of, of the area of the map. So in general, what you want to do is keep this spawn because let's say if they didn't get this spawn and let's say this blue team pushed out through P1 scrap time and, and got into the spawn here, you know, they would still be spawning, you know, p3 area or even like closer uh, probably even like over here while the other team would be spawning back bricks and you want to be having them spawn back bricks just because it, it would take so long for them to get back into this hill uh, from here and you know it was really important to hold this spawn because if you're holding it from this side let's say you, you push through p1 you know you can have a full setup if you have someone dice that was really important let's say someone in the hill um someone or you can have even two people in the hill maybe someone p5 as well and you can have a really good setup here where these guys are gonna have to make a decision. Either they go through and hit P2 from this way or try and get back this spawn um, from P5 and then and then crunch their way through through here. And think about it from the other side. Like if you're holding it from you know this P3 side where you have two guys in a hill, let's say a guy dice, maybe a guy just spawned up or he's in fire or something, but you still have this train spawn. I, I think it was just more beneficial to have this train spawn just because of the avenues that you could break with, you know? You could go through top two P5 here. You can go through dub windows. You know, there are so many different corridors you can go and enter through uh, from this side uh, compared to the other side where it was just, it was just so much easier to break. And, you know, if you're, if you guys have two guys stack on a hill and you guys, you know, throw people out off the balcony or through dub uh, windows and, and also cut off people that are still spawning back fire, maybe hit the back door here, you can get so many good timings. And there was a lot of just, you know avenues to get in so i think breaking from this side was super beneficial for any team trying to break because it, it let's say if you were trying to break from this side uh, as we said before you just have everyone you know cut off this way or this way oops 
so you couldn't even get through p5 most like most of the time like even if someone was playing like super ratty here like let's say you have someone in hill you they don't even need to be playing p5 or let's say they're not even in you know these steps these clutch stairs or over here they're not even here but they're playing an off angle maybe over here still watching the cross because you still have to get through to p5 and you still have to enter through that way even if you're going to enter through dub stairs you still have to cross p5 here so you could play like any ratty corner you can even play like deep back here because they still have to cross and you're still going to be able to see them even call them out for your teammates now let's just talk about holding the hill in general like as you i said before trades were super super important on this hill just because of how many different angles they can come from let's count here literally how many different ways they can come from so let's say the side door you know there's two entrances here you have the front door you know two dub windows you have above the, the open steps um the closed steps you know through office two different doors you know the main back door even through p5 if you jump over the balcony like there are literally like 10 different ways for enemies to get in here so you know it was just hard to you know actually accommodate for everything so if you only have two guys in hill you know you'd have to prioritize trades and and even having some guy close even maybe at this this tank here or someone close in general in case these other two guys get wiped out and you don't have a setup like this was just super important because if you only have one guy in hill option or you know chances are you're gonna get trade out instantly if, if they hit two guys in hill and at that point you know you can finesse crazy here if you're able to get on and break in because of that, how many different angles you can take or or ways you can escape uh you know that was a big thing for us if if you died in hill and you had or your teammate died in hill it was really important for you just to get out of the hill make the time wait just escape somewhere either like the close or open steps you know just escape out of the hill make it white make them find you if you can you know buy just even a, a few extra seconds for your teammates to come off spawn you getting alive trying to finesse even maybe get a kill for yourself too was super beneficial and, and so important especially on the hill so this is one of the hills where it was like okay we go one or two down get out of the hill those extra few seconds isn't really worth it now i'll talk about like the perfect hold like as i said before you really wanted to have them spawning back bricks here it would just take so much more time for them to get to the hill plus if we're thinking about the long game if you hold p2 from this side and you can trap them back bricks here you have that chain rotation of p3 so it was super important if you could to hold it from this side uh as to guarantee yourself the rotation for p3 as well as i talked about in the other video you know the only way that they could get out and past you is if they you know stuck through trains here or something like that took a little long route to try and you know get the spawns p3 here but to be honest it was really about the battle of scrap time so if this team's trying to break back on in with like 10 seconds left this team's already starting to rotate maybe you know this scrap time was still huge to hit like this is one of the times where it's like okay maybe scrap time is pretty big just because if we don't kill this guy out of hill you know he's staying here and he can make another play so like let's say we're trying to break on through to p5 after a rotation uh, loss to p3 or through p5 and trying to break p3 after a p2 you know we're trying to hit through p5 here hit through fire but let's say you know they have scrap time this guy's gonna stay alive p2 we're gonna have to remember that he's still there and that gives that gives him a chance to like you know activate himself he can you know try and make a flank on these guys after taking the last few scrap seconds you know this was a really big scrap time so it was really big for people to go through p2 kill this guy off scrap and then start waking making their way towards this b street because this is how a lot of teams would try and break p3 they're trying to break it through the street break it through docks because you wanted to block this back you know really sticky docks spawn uh that teams would get on p3 because it was so easy to hold once you had this you know spawn set up because you would spawn super close while the enemies are spawning you know super far away here so it was really important to start blocking the spawn if you were the breaking team and you'd have to do that by hitting this old time first and then pushing your way through the street so to recap a little bit p2 was super important especially if you had a really bad p1 and you wanted to try and get yourself back in the game or even if you had a good p1 you can try and set up a three-way chain where you get p1 time p2 and then chain it for a p3 so really important hill there uh, as you can see the cutoffs again you know so many doorways so if you're holding the hill 
you want to be doing it with teammates you want to be stacking the hill as much as possible because once those trades go down you need you know teammates to help you out with those trades and if you don't have teammates to trade with or you know your teammates are losing the trade battle you're the last one left alive make sure you get out of the hill make it white try and finesse as much as possible in one of these different quarters avenues to get in the hill um, finesse a little bit try and get one you know just stay alive um, because staying alive and buying time for your teammates is much more valuable and uh, to be honest a lot of the choke points you know if you're holding dice dice was huge for anyone uh, spawning back you know back bricks here holding this lane on the other side if you're holding from p5 holding this entire lane or even you know holding from one of these credit corners um just trying to at least cut them off for anyone trying to break through p5 and trying to jump through the balcony here so you know you would even see teams a lot of the time push keep pushing through p1 once p2 pop because you don't want to keep funneling yourself through this lane over and over again because you're going to get cut off from this uh, this hallway here or through p5 so you want to be denying that you want to be pushing through p1 killing this guy uh, that's in the hallway or anyone that's cutting uh, people from p5 and then trying to block this close train spawn here because if, if your team ends up breaking you want to be spawning this red team out as far as possible uh, in this back bricks area.